uh, uh, the specs for admin user and user. Um, I think they can they need to be implemented later. I think we can just implement the admin user specs, although it's basically dealing with the uh, uh, active admin, so there's not much to do there. You're talking about which one? No, I, I previously you're mentioning about like uh, the, the two. That's the pending. Yeah. The, yeah. So we can do it. Okay. okay. So just uh, click on your. So. Um. Uh, click on your profile on the top right. Uh, accounts. Uh, just click on the profile and then click on accounts. On the top right. Mm. Yeah. And then. Agile Ventures. Click on okay. Agile Ventures. Okay. Think, Think now. now. No, no, you're on MOTS. You need to click on Agile Ventures. I do. Yeah. Click on that. Okay, it's empty. Uh, just let me check. Yeah, don't not click on profile. Like click on agile ventures and then click on profile. Okay, interesting. Okay, so it seems like uh, you sorry, it seems like you couldn't find any repositories you have access to on this one. But I go here. How can I confirm that I am? Um, just go to the repository and then, uh, yeah, it seems like you have admin rights. Admin. Yeah, so. Okay, can I try to add you as an admin? Okay, let me have a look here. That's Press. on the file. Travis, GitHub, Agile, which is Osra. Yeah. No. Sync. You don't get another tab for your. That's all right, but for some reason I doesn't seem like I can enable it. Oops. Um, just click on Agile Ventures and then just refresh the page. Like click on Agile Ventures, refresh. The, yeah, just refresh the page then. Oh. Ah, there you go. There you go. It was a Travis problem. Mm, it was synchronizing. Okay. Okay. So now, now what you need to do is just add a Travis YAML file. Okay. So. And is I that uh, just an empty file for now? No, uh, I did, you, there need to be some changes, so I'll just, uh, hold on, uh, I, I guess you can do it or uh, should I do it? No, no, I can do it. I'll just, oh, open, I'll just share my Ruby mine. And then uh, just go to another branch, don't do it on the partner branch. They uh, oh. uh, can I branch from here? Or create another branch? Or you can just directly uh, push to develop, but I don't think that's a good idea. So mm -hmm. Just uh, open the terminal. Uh, 
um, like open the app slash models directory. Uh, okay. Okay, so that seems to be a problem. Uh, just uh, uh, delete the current branch because like uh, uh, your branch should be just branch top develop, right? Okay. I mean, you're branching a partner, so the partner brand models hey, have also it? added. So just uh, switch to your develop branch. This one, right? Uh, you're not sharing your terminal, though. Uh, you cannot see my Ruby mine. No, I can't see your terminal if you are doing some. Oh no, no, it's from Ruby mine, but yeah, I can do it from terminal. I'll just have my terminal. So just switch to switch to develop, like you check out develop. Um, now just do git branch, uh, git branch, uh, git branch, then uh, uh, dash d, like hyphen d, to delete yeah, Travis. I just captured it. Okay, so now just now just uh, create a new branch. So what it does is like it doesn't uh, include your commands from the partner branch. So, so this is the like this check out minus b server. Yeah, that's all right. Perfect. Now you can just uh, do the. It should be on the. It, sh it should be stop stop sorry it should be dot travis dot yml not just oh. travis. on the top level directory yeah on the top level and then you can just copy most of it from either like the agile ventures or uh, I mean the website one travis yaml mm -hmm. or the local support so if you can just share your Ruby no, it's kind of hard to switch. Oh. Oh. I've just posted the link to where you can just copy the Travis or from. Mm -hmm. So it's 2.1.1. Okay. Is 2.1.0. Okay, that's alright. You can just do that. Uh, just do 2.1.0 and uh, uh, just open your gem file. Yes. And then uh, just uh, below the source, just specify Ruby 2.1.0 on this uh, below the source here. Yeah. That just makes it clear. Though. I tried the 2. Point. I mean, what's the, what was the latest? Uh, I got the latest, and there was an, there was an issue yeah, with the Google Gym. 
with the debugger gem when I try to do bundle install on the latest. There's native extension for some reason stuff oh. open. So yeah, I that's why I just keep it at that. Yeah. Okay, so now back to Travis. So do we need this before install? Um, just keep that because that might be required in the data later okay. uh, for a uh, bundler purposes. So. Create and all my grid. Uh, should I add seed here as well? No, no, no. I, 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 yeah, add seed as well. Um, I don't think... Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, do we really need seed for... Uh, for the tests? Yeah, for the tests. Let me have a look. Hold on. Uh, we have some tests that... I mean... You're not okay, no, we don't need it. Uh, yeah, let me just have a look. Uh, what now? And then yeah, and then uh, I think uh, you can just remove the uh, Jasmine CI line, and then you can remove deploy as well because. Uh, we are not. We don't really need deploy at the moment. Not now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cucumber. Yeah. Uh, cucumber. Even though we are not uh, using it at the moment, just keep it. Or uh, just remove it. I think it will fail, right? Because we are not using. No. Cucumber. I mean, I just ran it. It did not fail. Just test zero test zero assess, uh, assertion zero failure. Okay, then just keep, uh, I'll keep that because uh, I think we'll be uh, implementing Cucumber after this. No, no, there is an error. I can't see my table. There is an error. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, it says... What's the error? You need to add that list to the part You got this. Um, I don't get any errors on the. You run cucumber. Hold on. Let me just. I'm on the partner branch, so I don't really know. Let me just go to the develop branch, and then if I run cucumber, uh, yeah, I get some errors though. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, that is fixed. Um, that is fixed in the partner. So. I see. Uh, that is fixed in the partner pull request. So once that is merged, then so for now, yeah, I guess. for now, should I take it out or keep it cucumber? It, yeah, I think we can take it out and then uh, you, you uh, in the partner pull request we can add it in a later pull request. Just take it out for now. Yeah. And you're not sharing the screen. It's not shared. Okay. No. So I think that's uh, or that's all for our short travels. Yeah, my Um, uh, just one thing. Do you have a Ruby 2.1.1 installed? Just I'll check that because uh, I I think uh, version 2.1.0 I have. Okay, 2.1.1. I mean, I can install it quickly. I I just leave it at that then. You wanted to look at the issue? Or? Yeah, I think we can just have a look at the issue because it'll be good if you are, if you are on the latest version. Mm. I mean, why just? Okay, let me okay, let me share my terminal. Point one point two. Yeah. Uh, no, just do 1.1, or you can because uh, or two point one point two, I guess, because uh, we'll just stay on the latest then. Yeah.
And I need to change my gem file as well. Uh, yeah. Just change it to two point one point two in the background. I think with RVM you can do like latest. Um, I think so. Let me have a look. I was just trying to install. So the version I specify in my gem file takes precedence over the one by RVM or RBM. Well, I mean, I think like I mean, RVM selects automatically from the gem file, but I don't know about RVMs. I mean, if you uh, like in RVM, if you have a dot RVM RC, then that takes the highest precedence, and after that the gem file. And if in your it's not current directory, you have one in. Or just cut your uh, home. I mean, I usually like some projects have an RVMRC in the in the project as well. So. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, just. Uh, change the jump file. Yeah, it's already. You need to do gem install bundle of maybe.
So some pretty here. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. Okay, so it worked, but now I just noticed that this is we're doing it on the developed branch. It does not have debugger yet. Okay, so just uh, try on commanding debugger and see if that uh, bundle install works or not. Okay, so just do bundle update debugger. Run bundle update debugger. Bundle update debugger. Yeah. Can I try and zoom? Okay, interesting. Uh, hold on.
So this is the issue I used to get. What version of debugger do you have at the moment? Uh, I mean, the like Java does not specify anything, but when I do bundle install, it tells me. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, so. So it seems like uh, this version of debugger is incompatible. Yeah, I looked up that issue. It seems like the same issue happened earlier with the 1.66 as well. Yeah, and it's for this new uh, version of Ruby. I mean, there will be another uh, debugger. Yeah, we, might, yeah we, we can just try for finding for alternatives. Like, there are better alternatives like Pry. Mm. So, we can just Pry switch is to a that. console kind of, REPL, right? Or is it just, it, it includes a... It includes a debugger as well. Hold on, I just fi I'll just find that out. Yeah, there's a debugger called Pry as well. Yeah. The only thing is that you you need to start it with uh, binding dot pry instead of debugger. That's the only difference it seems. If you have a look at my screen. Okay. So. I mean, we we would have debugger commented at the moment. And uh, maybe uh, we can fix that later. I don't know. No, no. Okay. I mean, uh, so in the or develop we, branch itself, I should. Uh, <coughs> or we could just keep with Ruby 2.1.0. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, like, uh, I think that's the only feasible option then. I mean, if Pry is overall better solution, then we can. Plan to migrate to Pry later. Like we can add one task, one chore to start using Pry, and then look at this later. Okay. If the only reason we are trying Pry is just for this issue, maybe then we stick with the older version. Yeah, I guess just uh, uh, I I hope there's no problem if you install the older version, right? No, 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 no problem. Okay. I guess you can just switch back to 2.1.0 then. Uh. Okay. Travis does not uh, depend on uh, debugger, There seem to be some changes. Can you just do get status? Okay. Yeah, just uncomment that because that will be added in a separate. Uh, just uncomment. Just uh, comment the debugger out because we change that in the. Uh, it will change that in the partner pull request, so that might uh, mm -hmm. okay. cause conflicts. Okay, so we
one of those pending or... yeah let, I'm just trying to check on my version like hold on yeah they have, they were failing on they're failing originally so that's not a problem just leave it as it is okay Good. so this is my develop branch yeah so I guess um just shouldn't we add the trap shouldn't this have um, just just check out to the uh, check out to the Travis and Travis branch and then everything will all the changes will get transferred as well. But I already have a Travis, right? So now check out Yeah I'm just saying yeah just switch to the Travis branch. There. So I think you can just comment it and then just uh, just check all, uh, the Travis YAML for the uh, to make sure everything's working. That's why. Okay. Um, one more thing. I uh, you added the seed back there, right? So this is committed. I can say git push. Like this? Yeah, if you do that, then I think uh, it'll. Yeah, just do that. So now it's in my GitHub. In your GitHub, right? Yeah. Now. So I can have a pull request on that? Yeah. I guess so. Just uh, before you make that pull request, I just want to verify this seed thing because I'm not really oh. confident about whether we have we should have that seed thing or not.
seems like the database is not getting cleaned properly because even when you do drop and yeah when i drop it like uh, it's always works on the second time so there seem to be some problems which we need to fix it's only on the partner branch so no need to worry at the moment so... yeah also on the travis branch you might want to comment out that failing spec all right because that will cause problems on travis so just yes. uh, uh done aspect um also uh, one more thing is uh, do do the do what that uh, on the top you see git config that's just global user dot name and user dot email just uh set that because at the moment all your uh, pull requests are being like uh, set as uh, uh unknown person so okay. that's on Git config user. Uh, git conf git config dash dash global. A uh, user dot name. Uh, then your name. It does not have to be my GitHub username. Uh, no, no, just your full name. Yeah, and then you um, get config user dot email. Mm -hmm. Then you then you get her email especially. That's all. Yeah. Uh, now you can just uh, update that failing spec. Just make it pending for the moment. So it is um, support. Request. Request. Okay. One second. Then just. Uh, Delete that before the block. I put pending here. Uh, no, 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 not there, not there. Uh, beside describe, like remove that line. Mm. Uh, uh, beside describe, like after uh, after that quotes, just add a pending uh, equals true after. as a ha uh, yeah after that just before the do as another argument, comma pending. Uh, no, as a hash argument, like as a hash argument. Uh, I'll just post it in the group chat. It's hard to explain. Yeah, it's in the group chat. That's it. Yeah, now if you run aspect, I think it should all be skipped. Okay. Okay, so now you can just commit that and then make a pull request.
Okay, now it's submitted. Um, the travel build should start on that. Like, I think it should because but you even, added it. Even though it is not uh, accepted or merged yet. Um, I, I don't know, but I think it should start because yeah, it started. You see that yellow but yellow thing at the bottom? Like it's it should say like the Travis build is in pop progress. You see that? Uh, like just refresh the page. Oh yes, yes. I can see a yeah. yellow dot waiting, okay. So you just need to wait for it to pass and then mm. you can merge that. So, like in the meantime, we can just have a look through the pixel tracker and see what stories we can start off with us. Just share your screen for the pixel tracker. Yeah. So I think the next one would be logically to have a partner Ustra ID. So now we, we create partners and add partners. So now we need the, the application to generate a uh, custom ID for those partners. OK. Does so that have to be like, like the database ID we can keep, but for the yeah, users, yeah. we need to give them something more readable. So we need to okay. store another column, and that's based on some formula. Okay, so basically, like mm, the problem is that uh, this depends on the existing partner. Yeah, yes, the partner needs to be merged first. Yeah, or we mm. could just work. We could work uh, by branching of the partner. Like uh, usually, you branch. Uh, you create a branch from the develop, but mm. you can just create a branch from the partner branch, and that will just include all the existing. Um, and then later, if the partner, the parent partner branch was rejected from being on uh, the pull request, that will create. Yeah, that, that might be a problem. So we can just start with the add user then, I think. Like partner, uh, since the partner Austria ID hasn't even been voted upon, so we can't do that. But right. we can start on the add user then because that is independent of the partner. Yes. Right. Yes, now, I mean, I think most of this is covered by active admin, but you can just. Um, I think this is a separate thing. Like, uh, is it active admin or? Okay, yeah, basically like. Application uh, users. No, hmm. like uh, what's weird is like uh, you you see you have two models, one for the admin user and one for uh, the uh, normal user, right? Uh, no, I mean. Oh, I see. Yeah, you have two. Two you two models, one like uh, user and another is admin user. So that is what was confusing me. Like how uh, like there should be only one type of user, right? With the uh, with yes. varying. Role. I think uh, do you have device here? I think one of those was. Like, I mean, I personally did not create those two types. So, I, okay, I, so I, 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 I admin I, should would have created admin users, and I think. Yeah, I think we, we we can just remove this user then. Remove user. I mean, because that isn't required, right? I uh, know, but let me just. Go. Yeah, you can uh, just make sure that's. Yeah. No. Basically, like the partner management will be done through active admin, right? I mean, yes, because that that will give us access to all the active admin features, which is like already we have pages in active admin to add users. Yeah. And so that's right. So build other. I think. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think like just one admin user model should be enough because like uh uh. I mean, in the future, uh, you plan to have like uh, uh, different admin users with different uh, like levels, right? 
Its users have different levels. Yeah, the, us the users will have different roles. So some of them will be like a super user where they can do anything, and some of them will be restricted to, for example, just working on partners. Instead of okay, got it. Other yeah. Models. yeah. Yeah. So I think we can just have one model for admin user, and then have different roles, like different levels. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, like using another other some other gem. So um, you could either add a story for that, maybe like. Remove the uh, redundant uh, user model, like a code or something uh, like that's that. That's a story. Uh. Wait, and one more thing is like, uh, uh, hold on, before you start that, mm -hmm. then you, uh, you have the story called add user, but uh, what is the description for that? Can you just open the open that user? I mean, these stories are written from the. Customers' point of views. They don't know okay. about active admin or anything else. Oh, yeah, I got it. So I think like this, this, uh, this thing is already started. Then uh, we have an admin role. Yes, but now it's not complete. It started. Okay. Why? Why is it not complete? Because you see, it, here it says new users should decide on their passwords. Now the admin user will just go in and. Okay, got it. I'm not sure. Would would they be able to like as an admin user even like if I log in, can I change my password? Yes, why? Um, so like only one part of it is not added. Like the uh, device is implemented and the no invites is done. So only thing that's remaining is this uh, new user should decide on their passwords. So right. Yeah, I'm looking at. Um, can you see my? Yeah, I can see your screen. Yeah. So now I'm logged in as an admin user. I can. Yeah. I can change my own password. Yeah. So I'm thinking like. Yeah. As an admin user, I can add a new user. Yeah, you can create a new user. That's right. Also, the thing is, like, you don't really have a, uh, you don't have any usernames here, do you? It's just basically email and password. So, do you want to add, do you want to add usernames, or do you want it to be email and password? Uh, in originally they said, uh, why emails would not work. You just use okay. an email for the password reset, maybe functionality later on. Okay, so I think we can just keep the email and then we can replace. I'll, I'll come back. I mean, I will get back on to the client with this. If they, they require to have, must be a, a username. We can change it later. We can add another story. Just... Yeah, there is some work to be done on this. I'll just another add another task here to the story, so like, so uh, it's final. Then that we would we will want to be like you want to be logged in by username instead of uh, admin uh, email, right? Yes, yes. But I mean, let me get back to the client about this. Okay. See if they are so, okay with the email, then we can keep it. Okay. So I think we will have to keep the story on on hold then. Uh, that will affect. Uh, okay, I'll just take note of it and ask. Yeah, maybe by tomorrow I'll have an answer. Okay. And one more thing that I was working on at the moment is if you have a look at my screen at the moment. Yeah. So you see, like, uh, what I'm doing is like I'll just drop the test database, and mm -hmm. then just recreate it from scratch, uh, create, and then uh, migrate. So like you see uh, all the tests are there. So I, for the first time, if I run the R spec, uh, you'll see it fails, right? Mm -hmm. But for the, if the second time I run the R spec, oh, it passes. So it basically deals with. It depends on some uh, like uh, this is happening because uh, of some database problems. So I'll just try to fix that. So the I'm the just test, adding a debug. The tests yeah. themselves. Put in some initialized data that will make the second test pass. 
Yeah, that is what is happening, which we don't want. Like the database uh, should be clean between cleaner, tests. Is... Huh? I mean, I thought we have database cleaner. It's supposed to take care of. Yeah, I well, I'm sure we have that, but it seems like it's not doing its job. So I'll uh, just try and put put a debugger there and see what's the problem. Mm -hmm. Aspect. So nothing. What? Oh, so this seems to be the problem. Some reason it starts to work now. I don't know why it's that. From the first time? Yeah, I'll just make sure the database is empty. And you did not change anything in the part of branch? No, it's clean. There you go, it's clean. So, GS, perfect. Now let me just run artifact. Your screen is gone. Okay, interesting. It was failing moments before and now it's passing. Hmm. And it seems like the build is passing, so you it's uh, if you have a look now you can merge the pull request in. Although uh, I, it's basically like I'll just merge the pull request because uh, like usually what what we should not do is like uh, uh, usually like when you send a pull request someone else should review exactly. you and merge. Hello. Yeah, I mean somebody else should review the yes. code before merging, not to the same person. Yeah, so it seems like everything's all right. Uh, I'll just merge it in. The Travis build is passing as well, so there you go. Merged. Now, uh, now that that's merged, you can just update your partner branch and then uh, push it up because it seems like there will be some conflicts, surely. So, update my partner branch with what? Like, uh, like okay, get full upstream develop. Get the one. Yeah, and just share your terminal. I'm sorry. Uh, So. Yeah, you can just do git remote dash v. That will do everything for you. Remote dash v. Um, get remote. Get remote. Okay. Yeah. So just do. You can just upstream. Yeah. yeah. Just check out to the partner branch and then pull from upstream. Yeah. Pull from upstream. So this is my local partner. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This is your local partner. 
Do I need to specify partner here or no? No, no de develop, develop, no. upstream, develop. Upstream space develop. Space. Uh, no. Yes, yeah, space. There might be some conflicts. Yes. Yeah. So just open the home spec. Where does it say? Oh, okay. So should I fix this in my local and push it again with another pull request? How do you fix it? Um, uh, basically, I think just delete that head, like delete uh, the original part. This is the original part. Yeah. And then delete that. So we'll just keep it as pending for now. Because that will be that's this is fixed in the root path, right? Yeah. Yeah, just do git add dot and then comment that and push that so that the Travis build can start running. Just run the aspect before you commit. Okay. There we go. So, um, I am now on my local branch partner. Yeah, now you just need to push to origin partner. Get push origin partner, partner. yeah. So now that you do that, uh, you will see that the, uh, your pull request has been updated, and then the uh, the Travis build has started. Okay. So this is because I mean a pull request is just tied to a branch. Like every time the, that branch is updated, the pull request gets updated, as long as yeah. it's merged? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I thought like when you make a pull request, at that instance in time, whatever commits are there, this is just the pull request, and then later I need to do another one, so I'll change that. No, no. So uh, it, it'll, it'll get updated as long as, the, as long as it is not merged or it is not closed. Okay, okay. It makes sense. So now we'll wait for Travis. Yeah, we'll just wait for Travis, and in the background, I'll uh, like run. I'll just update my root path branch as well. Travis, is it a free service or is it like paid service? Or is it for Agile Ventures they will have an... No, no, no. It's basically like a free service for public repositories and it is paid for private repositories, I think. Okay. So any public repository can just... Yeah. yeah. Because that okay. must be very heavy, like require loads. No, I think... Uh, I don't know how they do that, but... Yeah, I mean, like they, it's like the, there are, uh, I mean, about ten. Uh, there is a, st a status for of how many builds are run, run per minute. I don't oh. find. Yeah, I don't really know how to manage that though. Mm.
and I can look at the output while it's done. So now my pull request should be updated as well. Uh, okay, okay, I cannot see it. In the So you updated and pushed your root file? Yeah. So it should start its own Travis build as well? Yeah. Something seems to be wrong because my full request isn't getting updated. It's dependent on the fact that my pull request is still in being built, or no, 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 no. This, this, no. Like my, I, I sent a commit to my branch, but for some reason it isn't getting updated. Yeah. Mm. Or maybe the push failed. I think the push failed. Yeah. I need to turn off my screen here. Turn on or off? No, I mean turn off. Yeah. It is off. <laughs> I I'll turn it off now. Okay. <sighs> yes. Hello. Yes. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> there is internet connection on my laptop, but there is no internet connection on my uh, de developer instance. So that is why I didn't get pushed at that moment. On your VM? Yeah, on my VM. Um, oh. Okay. okay, I think my build is done. Oh, yeah, your build is done. Mm -hmm. So you can merge it now, <coughs> or I'll just make sure once again that everything's all right, and then yeah. I'll just merge it. Yeah. Typically, how is this like? Just developers between themselves, or we'll just have assigned like a project lead that will go through merging. Yeah, usually, usually we have a project lead, uh, but I mean, I, I, at the moment you are the project lead, right? Or yeah. you are the client, and just only the two of us. So I think you can merge this pull request in as well. Okay. You mentioned that you wanted to make double check something before I do that. Yeah. I, yeah. I just wanted to double check if everything was all right or not. Yeah. You can do it yourself. Just when you.
we and we had we, uh, I guess I'll need to look into this database cleaner problem as well because it seems like it's not really working very well. So, so in in such case, would we add it as a pivotal tracker item under? I mean, I'm not really sure if that's the problem or not, but I'll I'll just have to investigate it first, and then I'll add a story then. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, Makes sense. Uh, I'm not really sure well, if that is the thing that's causing the problem, so I can't add the story yet. Okay, I guess you can merge it in now. Everything seems fine though. Oh. So this is the part. Okay. Perfect. So now we can start work on that Osra partner ID story. Yes. Yes. I'll just update my uh, now the root path branch starts working now. I just get stream master develop. You know, in my my how do I make sure that my local develop is in sync with the upstream develop? Just do a git pull upstream develop. Hmm. Telling me my branch is ahead of. What is in the group by What what was the problem? That's a problem, just I did get full upstream develop to my yeah. local develop and then it's telling me my branch is ahead of origin developed by 18 commit commits. Oh yeah, that that's because see, like you pulled from upstream develop, right? Yeah. Uh, so, and then uh, those new commits, uh, those new 18 commits from the partner branch, so got added to your uh, your uh, dev local develop, but they didn't get updated to your remote origin develop, like your oh, I see. like okay. like GitHub slash Mortisam slash. Yes. 
when uh, Austria develops, so you need to fix that. Origin develop? Push origin? Yeah, you can just, yeah, get push origin develop. A new branch now called Partner ID. Or you, yeah. you want to st you start it? Yeah, I, I can start it, but like the problem is, hold on. Get. I'm just trying to fix some conflicts on my root path branch because. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe we. That's first. So. Because it's not finished yet, so. This internet connection is causing lots of problems. You know, I can see your screen. Can you just check what version of Ruby uh, is on your dev uh, gem file on the develop branch? Like, open your gem file. Two on zero. Okay. And uh, just open your gem file dot lock. Yes. Okay. Just do a search for two point one point zero. Okay. Good. Okay. So git and not git status.
So finally I managed to solve the math. The Travis build finally kicked in. Yeah. So I guess you can start working on the partner ID branch if you're now. Yeah, first I mean the the story itself we did not vote on the number of points it should take. Okay, so so you get the idea, but for each each partner belongs to a province. So okay. the province code, which is a two digit, should be the first two digits of the ID. Okay. And then that will be followed by uh, three numbers with leading zeros. So the first partner in province one one would be one one zero zero one. Then zero zero two zero zero three. Then if we have a partner from another province, that would also start from zero zero one. So the uh, so we'll have a sequence per province. Okay, uh, can, can a partner be deleted uh, or destroyed? I mean, or uh, is a partner permanent? Uh, it, it is permanent. There is no requirements for deleting. But I'm thinking like maybe the users will enter some details, some partner details by mistake, or so they can remember the status. They can be set to inactive. Yeah. Be so yeah, I I mean I remember we had a conversation about this earlier. So we yes. were just thinking of this like, uh, you see like they can be, they can can't be more than one thousand partners in the province. But if yeah. they do, if they do some mistakes, then the ID may be. Deleted, so yeah, I get the point. Yes, and we talked about that time that like we can increase, like now it's a five digit ID, we can make it six or seven if we need to. The important thing is the first, I, I'm, the first I mean, for the province. Okay, so only the active active partners will have a Austria ID, right? No, no, all partners. When you, Once you create a partner, it will be generated uh, an ID. Okay, so at the moment we can just have a database column, uh, where, or maybe uh, what else? Another way to do this is like you just have a method in mm -hmm. the model which like dynamically returns this. Uh, yes, but then later, I mean, if we need to do some reporting against those IDs or yeah, that's, another, that's yeah, I mean, another problem. It's easier to have the the ID in a column in the DB. So yeah, that, that for now I guess we can just have it like that. Mm. So basically we can just before save, before saving we'll just yeah. add this right mm -hmm. and save. Uh, okay. So yeah, so I guess the format itself, I mean, we can increase that. Like we now have three digit sequence number with leading zeros. We can have it more. Yeah. And even okay. the sequence, like remember that discussion, it was mentioned that it's not preferred to have a sequence where we can guess the next partner ID, for example. So there were discussions of having it automatically like a random generated digit, uh, sequence of digits. I talked to the client, they said like as long as the, it's a fixed length, they don't care. Okay. Two digit province code at the beginning, and then a fixed number of digits does not have to be in sequence. I guess what I can do, we, what we could do is like uh, basically we, uh, we could fetch uh, all the partners mm -hmm. by that province, and then I mean uh, like uh, 
let's say we could just fetch all the partners in that particular province and then uh, mm -hmm. find the find the ID of the last mm. partner and then just uh, assign that as the ID to this last one. Uh, okay. Increment that number by one and yeah. So like zero zero one or uh, zeros. Uh, will the, will it start from zero zero one or zero zero zero? No one. Okay. Zero, zero, one. Yeah, so we can just increment it by one. Yes. But I think that might be inefficient because we will be fetching the. Yeah, because you'll be hitting. I mean. Yeah, but th uh, that will be only while creation. Yeah, but that will be only while creation of the uh, record. So that does not cause much efficiency. Mm. Yes, so I, I guess we can do it like that. But I would like to think of more uh, better ways to do this. I mean, I mean like the current. I the way it's. First grade would have sequences, like uh, why we I did this before similarly for other things is like an oracle or uh, I think even MySQL that we can generate a sequence and then uh, in that sequence and it will give you automatically the, the next number okay uh, how, how do you do that in MySQL? Uh, yeah look up sequences like you just create sequence starting from this number to, okay. that, to that limit, like give it the minimum and maximum and the increment, and you yeah, can select from that state that sequence as if it's a table. You just select the next and put okay. it. And uh, the, the good thing about sequences is that like you can be sure there is no concurrency issues. Like with the method we mentioned earlier, imagine two users hitting the same the create button at the same time. So maybe both will fetch all the partners or the the last partner per province. They will get the same result. Okay, I I, I get that. I get that. Yeah. So they um, just fight. Yeah, but I, yeah, I never use this myself. Yeah, there is one for PostgreSQL as well. Hmm. So. And uh, assuming accessing it from rail is not a big deal. Yeah. So if we're going that path, then we need a sequence per province. We, I knew it. Your yeah, the root path thing failed because of that province problem. Oh. Um, I mean, if you just restart the build, it will work, but. Mm. I'll just restart the build because that'll make it. Okay, so this seems like there is a gem for this as well. To get it through active record. Yeah, to get it for active record. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so now given all of this, what do you think uh -huh. the story complexity should be? Um, I don't know. I think I'll just set it as two, maybe two point five or two. Mm. But I mean, if the partner thing was set at three, then this should be like this two, I guess. Yeah, I think okay. the partner was set up as two at three earlier because we did not think of active admin at that time. Okay. So with active admin, this made it a bit easier for us. But yeah, anyway, like yeah, I think partner ID is two makes sense because of 
like we need the column, we need the generation function, we need uh, the sequences. Um, what would be the argument for not having that one? I mean, I'm just thinking like uh, this would be just adding one column to the database, right? Yes. But, so why would why couldn't we have it as one? Maybe. No, I, I'm saying we should have it in the database. What do you mean? No, no. I I was talking about the complexity of the story. So like, uh, since it's just adding just one column to the database, so why not have it as one instead? Uh, because I mean, the column in the database. It's ge the generating function to generate the ID. Yeah. It's the sequences to get the sequence. So oh, yeah, that's right. Function. That's complex. So, yeah, we can have it as two. Two yeah. should be fine. OK, so should I mark it at start? Uh, yes, and uh, yeah, you can mark it as start. Oh, by the way, now, for example, add a partner is merged. Can I click finish on that? Uh, yeah, you can click, uh, you can click finish on that. But then the client will accept it, or? Uh, yeah, you can click delivered as well, uh, but accept will be by the client. Okay. And uh, so I think. For that, we need to deploy an. Uh, the, uh, like a testing uh, deployment on rock route or give them uh, yeah I, I guess by the way I think uh, delivered should be when uh, I mean deployed like yeah when deployed so I'll just keep it as finished at the moment uh, wait can I change it uh, I've changed that oh okay. so maybe we need to add a shore to Set up Heroku and Set up Heroku as a test environment or something. Yeah. Uh, All right. I'm just going through this gem, which seems interesting. Set up Travis integration is already done as well. Yeah, I finished that. Done so. Uh -oh. Okay, so for chores.
the root path thing finally passed. I guess you can merge it in. Okay. So now it's passed after we run the, the build again. Yeah, I had to run it. Yeah. But that means the issue is still there. Yeah, the issue is still there, so I guess I will have to investigate into it. Yeah, and then tackle it uh, as a bug later. Okay. This is uh, so this merged. Maybe we should. Or is it merged? Yes. Very interesting. I am. It's like I, it, I don't think we can use sequences because. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can. I we can just have another method in the uh, for every province, like which creates a sequence. Or uh, like for province up next partner ID. Yeah. Which, which basically gets the last. Uh, which gets, uh, which uses the province code and then the last uh, uh, partner created for that province, mm -hmm. and then uh, adds the next ID, implemented it by one, and then becomes the ID. Can we have this method like uh, like locked or can be accessed only by one request at a time? But if another request comes at the same time, it will be blocking until the first request finishes. Yeah, we can, we can, I think we can make it, uh, we can lock it. So we lock the whole thing, the last one, increment, generate, store it. We lock that all in one transaction, atomic transaction. Yeah, I guess. Okay, yeah, I think that's okay. But we can add some, I don't know, can we do some tests to confirm that? Yeah, yeah you can just uh, add some tests, like, uh, uh, test, I think, like when you create a partner, I mean, in the partner spec. Or um, what I'm saying is, can, I can, we can we simulate two requests coming in at the same instance in a test? Or is it the test that I don't see really? Um, I don't know. I don't think that's possible. Mm. I, I mean, I, it, it is possible, but I, I'm not sure how to test that. Let me just do some Googling. And what is the reason we cannot use sequences? Huh? It, well, you said we cannot use sequences. The reason is, is we can't. Uh, no, we cannot use sequences because, uh, like, you see, uh, for the code, we also need. Uh, I mean, uh, we will have. We. Uh, I mean, we will have uh, different sequences for different provinces, right? Yes. So. But I, I think it, 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 I, the problem with that is that we, we can only have a, a sequence as a whole. I mean, as far as I read it, I, I, it might be possible we can use sequences, but I'm not sure. Mm. 
Yeah. Like uh, since you have more experience, can you just have a look? And because I'm not really sure about that, so. I guess I'll need to leave now, so... Oh, okay. So we start the story next time? I, uh, you, uh, you can continue working on the partner ID story, I guess. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We can discuss it tomorrow. Alright, yeah. bye for now. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks.